I'm here today to talk to you uh, about the goodness, the kindness, and the mercy of Almighty God and Jesus Christ, who is declared to be the Son of God with power, according to the spirit of holiness by the resurrection from the dead. He may as well say, well, I'm not interested in religion. Uh, it's not for me. It's not something I'm the slightest bit interested in. Sure, because I'm not here to talk to you about religion. I'm here to talk to you about this Jesus. This Jesus that sets men and women free from the slavery, from the dirt, from the darkness of sin. And I hope you will uh, listen to me this afternoon. Because I've got something to say to you today. I'm going to tell you about this Jesus. About what he did. About why he did it. And about why it should be of the greatest concern to you. Jesus Christ, not born in the way that everybody else was, he had a miraculous birth. He lived a holy life and he did good things. He healed people. He shared the wisdom of God with people. He told us that we should uh, forgive one another. That we should love our enemies and yet he was arrested and through a miscarriage a perversion of justice. He was punished and he was murdered. But why? What for? Well the Bible says that he was delivered up because of our offenses. That the Lord laid on him the iniquity of us all. How about that? That's why Jesus was punished because of you and me, because of the things that we do, because we continue to break the commandments of God. That's why. That's why Jesus died. Now, some people might be willing to die for a good man, or perhaps be willing to die for a good cause. Or perhaps you would be willing to die for a member of your own family. For someone you love and who loves you. But Jesus Christ died for people who despise him. Jesus Christ died for those who hated him. Jesus Christ died for people who care nothing about God. Who care nothing for Jesus and his life. And yet he was willing to die for them. And the Bible says that God demonstrates his own love for us. In the while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Isn't that incredible? But while we hated him and despised him, he was willing to die for us, to shed his own blood for us. something you've ever thought about. Jesus Christ died not for the religious people, but for bad people. For people who don't care about God. That's why Jesus died. He died for you. Now Jesus Christ... people who murdered him. Isn't that incredible that the love of God was so great that he was willing to send his only son to die for those people who hated him. He died for them, shed his blood for them. Why? That you might have peace with Almighty God. That's why that you might be reconciled to God. And that is why the punishment is so great as far as God is concerned for those who reject Jesus. 
what's gonna happen to you when you die? What is gonna happen to you? Where are you gonna spend your eternity? Are you gonna be with God in heaven? Is that where you hope to be? Is that where you really want to be? You wanna be somewhere that's peaceful and calm. Somewhere where you can have rest. Maybe you have trouble in your life. Maybe you have a difficult life, some of you. Maybe you've had uh, pain or things that have caused you great anguish in your life. You think, well, when I die, everything will be alright, won't it? Because then I'll have a place to rest. Then I'll, have, I'll be at peace, like people say. Well, Jesus said, unless you're born again, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. So if you've not been born again, no, you won't have peace. According to the Bible, you will be in great torment and anguish because you will be carried away to the place the Bible calls hell. God does not want anyone to go there. That's why he sent Jesus. That's why Jesus was delivered up because of our offenses, because of our sins. He was delivered up to offer you a pardon so that you might be set free from sin so that you might forsake your sin and follow Him so that you might know God so that you might be able to love God and yes, so that you might be able to meet God Himself that's why Jesus died for you died for your sins but the Bible says you don't know God, you've never met God, you've never repented of your sins and trusted in Him, then you are a sinner. You're not special because of that, because the Bible says that all have sinned. Everyone's a sinner. Everyone's in the same boat. Everyone's going to go to the same place. Unless you repent of your sins, unless you turn away from your sins, and you turn to Almighty God, who is merciful. God wants you enough to send His Son, Jesus, to die on the cross for you. I'm here to talk about religion. I don't care about religion. It means nothing to me. I'm talking about this Jesus. I, I was preaching the gospel over at Underbank the other day, and uh, a man came over to me and he criticised me. And he said, you're stopping people from shopping. You're stopping people from getting on with their life. Just pray God. I pray that I could stop everybody. I pray that I could bring the whole of Stockport to a standstill. So it make you think about where you're going to spend your eternity. What's going to happen to you when you die? To make you realize that God commands you to repent of your sin. To turn away from your sin and to believe in Almighty God. You're out today doing your shopping, you're meeting your friends, whatever. If you don't know God, then nothing else matters today but for you to make sure that you're right with Him. Nothing else matters today than for you to repent of your sin, to ask God for forgiveness and to be born again by the Spirit of God.